Nice, Froggy. That's a good boy. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to vlog number, I guess it's technically two. I've just been recording myself a lot and I haven't put it all together. Today I have some water features to check on. A couple things I have to troubleshoot with some leaks and some lighting. Now as a pond company, a pond builder, we never like to admit that water features can leak, but hey, it happens and I'm just owning it. Yes, we built a water feature that is leaking but we are gonna go fix it or i am gonna go fix it now i don't exactly know what's happening although i have a general idea a lot of times it's something simple like the soil that was new that we put in settled and there's a low edge but there can be other things too i am confident though that we did build these features properly it's usually something pretty simple and can be diagnosed and fixed pretty quickly. And for this reason, that's why it's ideal, I said ideal, not always necessary, to hire somebody who knows what they're doing, aka a pond building company, when installing a water feature. Not discouraging DIYer or people just getting into the water feature business, but I would say don't take on intermediate to advanced projects for your first time. Yeah, I think I'm happy with what I said there. So I'm just walking up to the home of our first homeowner. Professional tip, always ring the doorbell for your customer, let them know you're here. It's just common courtesy. Do, 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 do. Ooh, what a pretty bush that is. That is a rhododendron. Here is the feature. It's what we call a small pondless waterfall. And actually right there at the top, it's harder than it looks. And that rock up at the top is actually Ah. And that rock up at the top, and this rock here at the top is actually a bubbler fountain, and water comes up through a tube and kind of just cascades over this rock into the waterfall. This is really hard to do while looking at a camera. Cascades over the, cascades through the rock and down. You know what I'm saying here. So we have a couple things that we do for a leak protocol. Let's get started. I don't know if this... I don't know if this is the main lake here, but I noticed that some of this underlayment fabric right here that we used underneath the pond liner in the stream is actually pretty moist. And what actually happened is this fabric was touching this water and it actually, by just touching the water, even though all the water is staying inside the waterfall, it wicks through the fabric. So all this is just soaking wet and that could be a small leak. I'm still not convinced, though, that that is the major issue. So as far as the setup for this water feature, you can see that the water comes out from underneath this bubbler rock too, kind of cascades down some of these stones, and then it has a little stream and it runs actually into the reservoir. This is the reservoir right here. This unit is actually called an aqua basin. It's made by Aquascape. And one really handy thing is that this, once you pull back all the rocks, this is all usually covered up. This is where the entry level to the pump. And as you can see, the water level is pretty low. Normally it should be up to here if it's all the way full. I've got the garden hose out now and I'm filling up this water. Well, I was gonna show you the bubbler starting to run, but it's running right now, my phone rang. Yes, I am vlogging with an iPhone X. I'm brought to you by Apple. So now that the basin's filling, I'm gonna still continue to do the leak protocol and just check around to see if we can find any areas where the water may be coming out. All right, so I've filled this basin up all the way, marked it at a certain level, and I've uncovered all of the liner along the edges, along this area, and then kind of along here. I think I found a few small leaks. I'm gonna leave it running for just a little bit though, just to kind of test and see, and then come back and cover everything up once I know that everything's good. Well, while we're waiting for that to happen and get our results, I'm gonna head down the street and check on a couple other jobs. All right, so just pulled up to our next house here. This pond's kind of unique because it's actually in the front yard. Of This homeowner moved into his house a few years ago. He had a pond at his last home. 
Before this area just had kind of a ring of boxwoods around it and it had like a little fountain in the middle. And instead of just planting it with some landscaping, he wanted to do something different. Missing his water feature from his last house, he decided he would do a pond in his front yard. <laughs> why I was called over here is not for the pond itself it had to do with the lighting transformer this little unit right here is actually stuck in the on position so the lights are always running these are low voltage lights so it's not like it's using a whole bunch of power but still it's good to be mindful of energy and it's also kind of funny when your lights are on during the middle of the day so there's a unique idea that can be done in a front yard landscape aside from traditional trees shrubs and perennials a fish pond in your front yard. Hey, why not? So I'm at the Deanna Rose Children's Farmstead in Overland Park, Kansas. This is kind of like a mini petting zoo atmosphere. Great little family oriented place. And I'm actually gonna go check the Palmas waterfall we built earlier in the spring. I'm actually gonna post a link to our time-lapse video in the link below, but it looks a lot different now from when we last left it. <laughs> This was a unique project in the sense that a whole band of contractors that helped came together and construct this waterfall and we did it all in a day. However, unfortunately, there is a small leak in it because they're having to fill this basin about every week. And with the amount of water that we have in here, that shouldn't be happening. Just like on the last water feature, I'm gonna do the same leak protocol, kind of pull away some of the edges, expose some of the liner and see if we can find any low points. My suspicion is it's something settled. So I can already see in this part of the waterfall that there's a wet spot right here. I uncovered some of the mulch and even seems really wet right here. I was the one who built that waterfall. Well, I found a couple areas in this water feature where some edges were kind of low and water was just starting to creep over. So what I've done right here is just kind of pull up that liner and expose it. I think I'm even going to get a little bit of soil from somewhere else in this area and just build it up. Some of that water was just starting to go over. And with that new soil, it was easy for it to settle. I'm still not quite convinced that that would attribute to that much water loss though. So I was kind of checking some other parts of the edges and I noticed that there was a lot of water kind of down in this area and I could see grass seeds starting to pop through and the mulch was really wet. So I just kind of followed the trail up and then I noticed that this piece of driftwood right here on this waterfall Looked like it kind of settled and sunk some of that liner too, and there was definitely some water going over that edge. So I know when this was built, it definitely wasn't leaking, but it looks like this fresh soil had just settled a little bit, causing this liner just to slightly pinch down, and some of that water was starting to go over. So I've kind of built it back up. I'm going to get a little bit more soil underneath this part and get it to where. The water's definitely going back into the stream area. So I believe I have the leak fixed. You can see just how muddy and squishy this area of the soil is. One of the things I did was stick this little cobble rock underneath this piece of driftwood just to lift it up a little bit. And then you can see over here that the liner was actually pushed up really tight against the rock here. And that was causing a lot of, a lot of the water to go over here. So what I did, I'm gonna stuck a few pieces of gravel in between the rock and the liner, and that allows this water to kind of flow through here and then down into this little crevice. Before, it was just pushed really tight up against this rock, causing it to kind of spill over. It wasn't giving any way for the water to exit. In the pond building world, we call this little thing a weep pocket. So the nice thing about working with liner water features is that they're very easy to repair and very easy to disguise back up. I mean, this leak, I was able to fix it in no time. And you can see, it doesn't even look like it was disturbed. Even though I don't believe this was the spot where the leak was, I'm just gonna put some gravel in here, make another weep pocket, 
just to ensure that nothing dams up against this rock and cause the water to spill over into the soil. So I've got my soil back filled up against that weed pocket. And now I want to take the liner and I actually want to fold it in and roll it this way into the water feature. A lot of times we'll see people do it the opposite way and roll it out. The problem with that is if any water ever dams up, it's going to roll outside into the soil and not back into the stream. Hopefully that made sense. So just because you found a leak or two in a water feature doesn't necessarily mean that you've solved the whole problem. Here we have our pump vaults and this allows us to easily check our water level. We actually have two here. This one is covered up and I've uncovered the rocks from this one, but normally this has the stones over it just to disguise. But you can take the lid off and we can see that it's just after 4.30 this afternoon and the water level is just at the lip of this first extension of the pump vault. So we're gonna use that as our marker for the water level. Check in 24 hours later, see how it does. place is about to close but there's some really neat things here we've got birds little quail i guess and chickens we've got chickens over here over here it looks like we've got a vegetable garden got some broccoli looks like some onions or garlic or something some kale all your good healthy eatings here all right so they're telling me to leave i wish i could walk around a little bit more and look at this place, but it it's pretty cool. So I've already been told twice I need to leave, so I wish I could get a little bit better tour. They've got goats, they've got horses, cows, a couple other things. Basically any animal you'd see on a farm. I really like facility it's such a great setup and a cool place to visit if you ever want some fun entertainment during the day whether you're by yourself on a date or want to bring the kids out i'd highly recommend checking out the deanna rose children's farmstead and make sure you look at the water feature i'm not done working yet though i've still got one water feature kind of torn apart and doing that leak test on it so Hopefully it's holding water and the good news is, is it's right down the street. I'm back at the water feature that I started the day with and it looks like water is pretty stable now so that's good news. Again settling and low edges do occur which cause leaks in water features. But I've got everything put back together now. Three water features in an afternoon, two leaks fixed hopefully, and one transformer that needs to be replaced. Now I don't have to write this stuff down. <laughs> So now 
not only are these homeowners able to enjoy this little pondless waterfall we built for them last year by their patio and deck space, they also have this medium stack slate urn that we installed for them too. You can see they can see it from the windows and inside the house. I can't see what I'm doing right now. That sun sure is sunny. We just love it when homeowners find ways to incorporate water into all elements of the landscaping. And don't think we're done here. We're talking about some stuff up front too. I'm gonna call it a day and go home. Well, that was one heck of a day and quite frankly, that's just how it is this time of year. I'm gonna get up and do it again tomorrow. We're getting ready to have a pond party this weekend. It's on Saturday. We've got a lot of work to do in our outdoor showroom before we're ready to have people over. It's gonna be a fun event. I'm really looking forward to it. Stay tuned and I'll give you the tour too. I hope you enjoyed the video today and thought it was helpful. Do me a favor, if you could like, comment, and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it.